Hey, boxing fans, Marcos Vegas here with Timothy Bradley, who fights Jesse Vargas this weekend here at the StubHub Center. And Tim, when I talk to my fans, we talk a lot about fights. And when I talk about your fights, it's really kind of hard to predict how your fights will go because you could fight one way and then you can fight the other. And it's like the hardest thing to really expect what Tim Bradley's coming out fight night. And like It's like, man, I don't know. Depends on what Bradley comes out. If he boxes, I give him a good shot. If he trades, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I just keep you guys guessing. You're like yeah. a book bookmaker's like worst nightmare. But it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny because that's the way my opponents think. They, mm -hmm. they, 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 they not only have to train for a fighter, boxer, but they got to train for a slugger too. So, you know, it makes it hard for my trainers to get prepared for, for my opponents to get prepared for me because I can do. I can pretty much do it all. Looking at the last fight that you had at the Serena, you weren't happy with the performance you had. It was fight of the year, but really, uh, to you and your career, probably not the way you want to go about things in terms of fighting. Do you want to exercise that ghost? Is it something that still lingers with you when you come here and be like, you know what, I want people to remember what I did in this Vargas fight, not what happened in the Provodnikov fight? Well, I mean, we, we here as fighters, we are here to entertain. And um, that's our job. Our job is to entertain the fans and all the million people that's watching. So, um, you know, that, that, that Ruzan Pavanakov fight, uh, no, I didn't fight the best of my abilities, ability that night, but I think a lot of fans appreciated the way I fought and I entertained them. So um, that's very important, you know, in, in fights and in entertaining business, you got to entertain. So the fans are going to come out and everybody's going to be watching. They're going to be looking for a great, exciting fight. Um, I'm gonna do my very best to put a, put a great show on for them. So I'm preparing myself. I went through a 12-week training camp with my team, and Jesse went through whatever training camp he had. I don't know how long he trained for, and uh, he's prepared himself very well to put on a, an entertaining fight for the fans. Is the gum that you're chewing right now? Is it to kind of get the water weight out a little bit? No, no? the gum I'm chewing right now is to keep my breath smelling all right, so <laughs> okay. I ain't killing the reporters when I'm talking to them. No, I'm just asking because I know in wrestling we used to do that a lot. Chew gum and then spit in a, in a nah, gallon bucket. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we don't do that. That just so, that just so, that just so I don't. <laughs> and they give him so, water right now. <laughs> yeah. That just, uh, that's just so I, I like to say it, I don't want to kill the reporters that's holding the mic up with my snaky breath because you know we we're partially dehydrated from making yeah. weight and all that stuff. So you still don't shower? Oh, I showered the last two days. Shower? So you you broke the broke the curse? Why? Man, because man, the last the last uh law, I had a loss of Manny Pacquiao, and then I got a draw with Diego Chavez. So I was like, man, I'm taking a shower. <laughs> you know, Tim, uh, you're in your 30s now. How has that approach gone into your training camps? Have you changed anything, you all, because of your age? You gotta, man. Listen, you got, as you get older, you gotta train smarter, not not harder. And uh, I've learned that I gotta give my body the appropriate rest, and I gotta find the right ratio between working and rest. I gotta find the right ratio for my body, and uh, the quicker my body can heal up, the, the faster I can go back at it and train hard. So um, that's part of our, that's part of, in part of our training is rest. We gotta rest as well, as, a, as, as opposed to working hard as well. So, you know. Um, was that kind of hard for you to? It's, it, it was, but not yeah. not anymore. Because I, I see you as like such a high caliber athlete that you know you yeah. might have a some hard time being like, hey, you know, Tim, I I got to slow down. Yeah, yeah, um, I do, but you know, like I said, I got I got a lot of good people around me that you know make sure they don't say they're not like yes sir people. They're they're more like, Tim, you should take it easy today. Tim, you need to back off. Tim, you need to do this. So. I got a lot of part, Lord, a lot of people that's around me that, you know, uh, telling me telling me what I need to do, and plus on top of that, I just listen to my body now. I'm older, I have to listen to my body, dude. If I can't give you anything today in training, why do I need to go and work? You know, I'm gonna just take the day off, relax, come back the next day, and come back even stronger because I allow my body to rest. It's a hard thing, uh, AJ. Hard here. Thing I got all these grays right here. Ah. <laughs> hey, Tim. Jesse Vargas, uh, at the kickoff press conference, you said you were a little nervous because you've been where he's at and you know how he's coming into this fight. Last week when you were talking to reporters, you said you don't really need a game plan for no. this fight because of the experience. So how, that's a big dynamic. So how did you go from the press conference to now? What changed during that time? The guns. The guns. <laughs> Is it just the shape or...? Getting in shape, that, that that changed the whole that changed the whole cranium, the whole mental, the whole cerebral, or whatever you want to call it. It changes all of that, all of that. 
So like when you prepare yourself for war or for, prepare yourself for battle, it changes all that. You're confident. You're confident in your approach. You're confident in everything. When I said that a couple, couple of weeks back, yeah, I still have those same emotions, but they're, they're more tainted now because they're more calm now because I'm in shape. I'm in good shape. So I don't really, I don't really think about that. You know what I mean? I don't really think about him anymore. I really don't think about uh, what he's doing because I know that I prepared myself 110%, man. I've done it all. I ate well. I went to sleep early. You know, I, I stayed away from my wife. I, I, uh, you name it. I didn't done it. You know what I'm saying? I made sure I stuck a, a tight schedule on my nutrition and, and just, you know, checking myself and make sure that I'm good, 100%. So, you know, that changes everything and that changes everybody, a, a lot of people's uh, personalities and 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 the way they think is just for getting in physical shape, dude. It changes everything, you know. Speaking with Vargas, he said that he's friends with uh, some of your sparring mates, and they've been telling him a few things. Uh, notably, he said that they've told him that you're nervous and that he's been hearing about camp. Have you noticed at all that your sparring mates are, are friends with Vargas? My sparring mates, I don't even know if they can be friends with Vargas or whatever and tell them whatever, because all of my sparring, with, all of my sparring mates, they they were cool with me and doing sparring. They came and got work, and if he got insight, that's great, but. He got to stop me. I don't care if he know what I'm going to do. You still got to stop me, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You still got to stop me. So at the end of the day, you know, you can have a thousand plays in your playbook. You know what I'm saying? You can have a thousand plays in your play playbook or you can have four plays in your playbook and you switch and you switch to, and you switch up the formations. But you only got four plays and you win championships that well, even though the team know what you're going to do, they still got to stop you. And guess what? If you do everything right and you do everything perfect, that play is going to work every single time. And that's the same that's the, way, the same way I look at it. So if he got any insight, video, or whatever I'm working on, that's fine. But you still got to stop me. Stop me from doing it. So let's see if you can. On an ending note, Tim, I know your goal is to be in the Hall of Fame. For you to get to that goal, what do you feel is left for you to do? Keep fighting the best. That's it. I'm just going to keep fighting the best available opponents uh, in, in my career. Uh, for the time being, and uh, you know, if I can get in, that's, that'd be fantastic. If not, then you know what, I'll do whatever I have to do to get in. Tim, thank you very much. You. Certainly a pleasure talking to you. A showered Tim Bradley <laughs> fights Jesse Vargas. So good. He does. <laughs> fights this Saturday at the StubHub Center on HBO. That might be me, but <laughs> don't miss it, you guys. It should be a great fight.